Okay, so I'm just doing a quick video on how to get started in Steamit. Uh, my name's Clive Martin and I've been part of the platform called Steamit.com uh, for the last 24 days. So if you're here wondering what Steamit is about or if you just want a few tips on how to get your Steamit account up and rocking and rolling as quickly as possible, you're at the right place, okay? And um, here we go straight into it. Right, so we're actually going to go to... Um, a friend of mine that I'm actually helping out right now, his um, name is Marcus and I'm um, just going to go to the welcome section that you'll actually see when you first get verified, okay, don't lose your password before you get here, if you use your password you are in trouble, okay, but here we go, what I'm going to do is going to take you to the welcome section, because that welcome section you definitely want to read thoroughly, go through it. Don't rush to do your first blog. Spend two days getting used to this site, okay? And go through the to-do list and the quick start guide and, you know, work your way through that as well. It is worth it, I guarantee you, okay? One of the first things you're gonna need to do is obviously set up a profile picture and a bit of a banner, a bit of a blog banner. Let me just show you where that is, okay? Now, we have actually put a picture here already, but I'm still gonna show you how that is actually done. Okay, you're going to go to the settings which you have just done there. You're going to put in your language, obviously mine is English. What you'll notice is it's a bit different than most social sites. Okay, instead of actually being able to drop a picture in there from your phone or obviously from your laptop, you actually ask you for the URL of the picture. Now the profile picture I've actually already done, but I'm going to do this cover image that we've actually um, designed earlier. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I did that and how I actually use a quick method to do that that I've known for a while, okay? So let me just pop over to Facebook because this is where, um, this is the easiest place to do it. And what you want to do is you want to create a picture, already done one here, a banner that is 1000 by 155, okay? And then post it into a fan page or on your profile. So this banner here we created earlier. 1000 by 155 we found that way best for us okay and you're going to click on that once you download it into facebook and then you're going to right click again and you're going to get this copy image address here i'm going to click onto that okay and i'm going to copy that then we're going to go back to our profile here and then what we're going to do let me just show you something here first before you do that you're going to notice it says update here and then when we actually come to this, we are going to see that highlight up. See, it's highlighted up. Now it's going to ask me to update it and watch what happens. It's going to ask me now to sign back in with a password. Make sure your password is put aside safely. Okay, I'm just going to pause and then we'll come back. Right, so we've actually gone and put that in now. We've pressed the update button. I'm just going to go back and check that, and it actually hasn't come up too bad. Okay, let me just have a look. Okay, so we've got fish in there, we've got a gamer there, and I might actually, you know, just re edit that slightly. Okay, but that's okay for now. That's okay for now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put his display name in here. So I'm going to put Marcus. Phillips, I'll try and not type like an elephant, which I do. And I'm going to put um, enjoy fishing. Let's put I enjoy fishing um, gaming. These are the niches that he's gonna. No, I'm gonna put United Kingdom there. United Kingdom. And then what I'm gonna do here, which is what I prepared earlier, is I'm gonna put a what you call like a bitly link here. But it's actually his Facebook profile link, and I just changed it to message Marcus James. So you'll have a look at what that looks like in a minute but you know this could be your website this could be um, a capture page this could be anywhere any link a YouTube channel or anything and that you want to put on there and I'll show you that in a minute I'm just going to update that put the password in and um, come back in one second 
Cool, so we've done that. I'm going to show you what that looks like now. Just go back and click onto his profile blog there. Okay. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a fishing game and music lover. Um, if I click onto this here, that will go to his Facebook profile, hopefully. Okay, I'll have to log in, but that is actually his Facebook profile, so that's, that's pretty cool. Happy with that. Right, so the next thing we need to start looking at now is people that are in our niche. So, Marcus is into fishing. I mean, you could be into a number of things here, but we're just going to stick with Marcus's um, likes here. And we're going to just look at um, fishing. Now, notice what I actually did there. I'll just go back and do that again in a minute. There's a few uh, sponsored adverts. I'm going to go to where it says fishing here in blue. Okay, and we used that search, you know, this little search bar here to find um, his subject. Okay, now a few of these I know from earlier he has already followed. So what I'm going to do is just go down. Okay, we're going to look at this one here. Um, already following. Okay, and let's see if we've got. Um, that looks like fishing boats. Yep, some fishing. So let's have a look at this one. And follow that. Okay. And what else have we got? Let's have a look at this one. Follow that. Okay. And at the same time, just want to bring your attention to this, but I don't want to focus on this too much, okay? Yeah, just down here. Um, just give me an example of what's actually possible after a while with this. You know, he's posted in uh, food photography six days ago. And, um, you know, this is just one example. He has made uh, on this post, or he will do, by the time this matures within a seven day period. It's six days now, so this will be tomorrow. Um, that's $35.22 dollars there, but that's steamy dollars. So just quickly, because I don't want to divert too much into this right now. It's not the point of this video. Okay, what I want to do, I just want to show you what a steamy dollar is worth at this present moment. I'm just going to refresh that. And you can do the math for yourself. Steamy dollars now are actually worth 7.50 USD dollars. So that would actually be, tomorrow, if it was $7.50, it would be $7.50 times 35.22. Go and do the maths. But obviously, this has obviously happened because he's built up a reputation. And what I mean by reputation, you can see that he's got 60 there, which is his reputation. When you start, you're going to have a reputation of 25, okay? You're obviously going to work on building your audience, because if you haven't got an audience... You know, there's nobody that's going to be able to obviously like your stuff and upvote your stuff, okay? But like I say, I just don't want to get anybody sidetracked right at the moment. Because the idea is just, just to keep uh, building up um, a list of people that you've got a niche in, okay? So, we've dealt with um, this link here, I think. Y you know, you'd actually do the same with the promoted link. Do the same with the hot link just go through it add people you know to fishing go through it with a uh, new same thing you know go down just add people and um, go down with the trending add people okay and build up your list you know we go on to the next thing in this case it would be let's put video games Video games, video games. Let's have a look. Video games right there. Have a look. So again, what have we got here? We've got Sonic the Hedgehog here. Okay. In Spanish. He doesn't speak Spanish, so what I'm going to do is click this one here. I'm going to follow that one. Okay. Oops. Go back again. 
Yeah, and then what's actually quite interesting, it's hard not to look at it sometimes, but you know, four days ago, here's a post here that's made 77.48 Steamy dollars so far. You know, remember that 77.75 at the time of this post, which is pretty incredible. Okay, um, but yeah, next couple of days, actually just focus on building this up and um, let's move on to the next part. Now I'm going to say that these next two tools that I'm going to share with you are absolutely essential right from the word go. And um, I just did a bit of networking and came across this to be fair. Um, but yeah, definitely advice these. And what you need to do is you need to go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.steamworld.org forward slash okay you want to copy and bootmark this okay and then afterwards put your username see here it says at Clive Martin and we're reading at the top here you want to put your username there and what's actually gonna happen is you're gonna come across this now this is really important so please pay attention okay at this point here when you're new you have this like say vote power here that is a hundred percent when you start off with and if you look at these voting values here when you're voting somebody's post or comment you're actually paying out from your account 0 0.01 of a steam dollar okay but that decreases in power every time you post okay and you're safe with about 10 votes per day because if this goes lower than say 80% I'm going to say then there's no point voting past there because as you can see if this gets to 75% your your vote will carry no weight okay it won't carry any weight it's, it's pointless and not just that it takes up to about 24 hours for 20% of this power to replace itself so you want to keep an eye on that okay and that's just an important note for later on now we will go through the whole of this in another video in the next video okay but then the other tool that you need to be getting you know just get this prepared is something that you'll find at https dot dot forward slash forward slash steamd.com forward slash and your username and again the most important thing on this is something that we call bandwidth okay so when you're new you don't really want that bandwidth to be going below 50% okay okay bandwidth will get used up the more actions you take re-steaming and commenting all that kind of stuff and if this goes too low what will actually happen is you won't be able to comment or make any posts or anything. So again, it's just preparation for the next video, okay? And, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed that. Just want to get you off to, a, a, you know, a good start. A good start. Make the learning curve as easy as possible. And what you're going to find also in this video is a link to the blog where there's going to be some useful links to some of the people that I've recently networked with which you definitely want to make note of and go and check out their educational material which is helping me right now okay until next time see you soon